as sick as our secrets. To illustrate the point, let's watch this drama. Well, welcome to our accountability group. Uh, I thought we should get started and go around, tell our names, uh, something about each one of us. And I'll go first. My name is Barry Manilow, not the singer. <laughs> Though I, I do have a daughter named Manny, but I've never seen the Copa Cabana. <laughs> and I am the facilitator of the group and a licensed marriage and family therapist. Um, my name is Paul, and I'm an estimator for Fossey Construction. Wow, do you put your dance shoes on when you estimate? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Fossey, a choreographer in Chicago? Never mind. My name is Peter, uh, and I'm a computer programmer for Target. Ah, uh, Target. <laughs> Peter, Paul, and Mary. <laughs> they can start a singing group. <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving along here. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll go and tell you the rules of the group. Uh, you do not have to share what you're accountable for uh, until you're ready. However, after six meetings, you will need to share. So, <laughs> I'd like to go first. <laughs> Sometimes, well, sometimes I'll, I'll look at an attractive woman longer than I should. Okay. Um, if you're 
comfortable. Would you please elaborate on that? Hey, I'm not into porn or anything like that. <laughs> Boy, I am really into porn. <laughs> Five hours a day, and I can't stop. These folks would understand. Mary's problem is that she tells lies sometimes. Big deal. She'd think I'm some kind of pervert. Why did I even start attending this stupid meeting anyway? It's useless. Uh, when you're... Oh, would you like to share more? What? What do you mean, share more? I mean, I, I, t I told you everything. Okay, okay. Uh, whenever, whenever, uh... Well, moving on. Um, too much food, I throw it up. Because it's disgusting, that's why, and it's a woman's problem. Men aren't supposed to be bulimic. I just wish I could tell others. I just want others to love me and, and help me. But why would they? Why would someone who just tells lies a few times a year and a guy who looks at women longer than he should react that way. They're just going to think it's creepy. God, I, I just wish for one moment I could be real. Peter, is there more that you want to share with us? Yeah. No. <laughs> Chris, I don't suppose you want to share. Oh, that's okay, I can share. Really? <laughs> well, that's great, Chris. I mean, it's your first meeting and everything, and you're going to share. Please, go ahead. Sure. Well, I, too, sometimes tell lies, and I look at women too long, and I need to go on a diet. Well, we're really moving on with these and bounds, aren't we? <laughs> oh, is it time for cookies and lunch? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Paul Chambers, and I've been acting in skits here at New Song for about 14 years now. And uh, Some of you might have thought that the part of Peter over here, the bulimic, was uh, uh, unrealistic. So I emailed Sarah that she needed to mention that uh, this character here was based on a real person she knows here at New Song who has struggled with bulimia for over 25 years. And then I thought, that person really should be able to give Sarah permission to mention his name. And then I thought, that person really needs to it's time for the person to move past the fear and even tell it himself. At first, it scared me, because I'm that person. See, in my early 20s, I, uh, I would throw up food to keep my physique slender. By my mid-40s, it wasn't working anymore, and I couldn't stop. So I, I tried to get uh, some help. I tried various things, including two uh, programs here, right at New Song Church. But just like in the skit, all I could get out was I eat too much, and I never got the help that I needed. And I tried various things and had some short periods of freedom, but it wasn't until I started seeing a Christian therapist named Raymond Jones that I finally got the help that I needed. And thank God, next month, I will celebrate a whole year of freedom. 